Hey guys, Stephen here with Pearl Lemon Games, and today uh, I'm gonna show you how you can check your how you can check the status of your game, the developer stats of the game you created. So you can check the visits, the average length they stayed on your game. So first, you're gonna go to your profile, and then once you're on your profile and you're seeing all your profile, you can go you can go to your creations. And you'll see your experience, uh, all the games created, your experiences, uh, and you can pick the game that you want to see. Uh, on our case, we're going to go with Rules of Logic, which is an escape room game. You can play this game. I'll leave the, I'll leave the uh, link below the description, and you can check it out. Okay, so after clicking it, you will see uh, ellipsis or triple dot on the right side of your game's name. Once you're here, uh, click it and then click on developer stats. Once you're on the developer stats, you will be able to see uh, the visits, average visit length, and the revenue of your game. So on the revenue, you have to export it so you can see it. I'm not going to do it now, but you only need to pick your a um, month and you can download it and you will see all the purchases and the date uh the date when was it purchased or how much but you won't see the de details like um what age or something like that all right so let's go back to visit on checking visits and average visit things so right now the live stats um there are no visitors sadly there's no visitors, zero visitor, uh, visitors in zero servers. Um, if there are a lot of visitors, there can be multiple servers in your game. Alright, so you can also filter uh, the devices in where your visitors uh, or what your visitors use. So the data would be hourly, daily, and monthly since we don't... Uh, since we don't have one right now, there's nothing showing. So if you're gonna pick daily, you're, you'll be able to see um, the the for the whole month or uh, for the past week, you'll be able to see it. Um, you will see if you highlight the computer, you can see the computer. If you highlight the tablet, you can see the one for the tablet. So that can be filtered on devices. So if you check on monthly, it would go from the month in where you created the game up to the current month that you have. So we got a high curve there and then it got slowed down, the visit slowed down. So we've got around 200 plus visit over the past few months. Um, we didn't do advertisement on this, so... Uh, I, I uh, I kind of understand the visits, but yeah, hope, hoping that we we would uh, do an advertisement soon, and hope you can play it too. So you can also check that by uh, age. This uh, graph is also affected by this. So both of it change, and you can see the visits per age. So you will see what age played. Uh, the games so you will see that there's 9 and 10 16 and 17 6 or under you can click uh, you can uh, unclick click them so they won't show on the graph or you can like uh, have it stay like that if you only want to see uh, a total you can check it like here or if you want to see 13 to 14 you can just Look at that via visits. So here's the average visit length. This is per minute. So an average of the 200 plus visits that we have, we only have around uh, 2.5 minutes averaging the, their visit. So they didn't stay for long and uh, they didn't really give feedback. So that's not really good on a game perspective so we'll have to change how we uh, manage that so here's some good data and of course the product sales 
uh, you will also see here but since there are none of course there won't be any and but you can filter them out too all right so that's how you check the visits and average visit and um, you can also check on the revenue data here on the developer stacks so that's all for today and I hope you learned something and like and subscribe on our page and we're gonna post uh, every tutorial and I'm leaving the description of all the games we created on the link and catch you on another day. Bye-bye.